Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Fuse Flicks, a production of IamFuse.com. Now in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to take just a few minutes and we're going to go over a simple process on how to create a banner ad that's animated for your affiliate program. Okay, so I am working in Adobe Photoshop Elements version 10 and I am on a Mac as well, but I believe you can purchase this for a PC. Uh, it's relatively inexpensive and uh, only costs r roughly around, I think, 79 to about $100. So it's a very good program. Uh, it does everything you need to create uh, a banner ad for, for your affiliate program. And so oh, let's go ahead and jump right into the uh, process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit File. And we're going to do a new blank file. And we're going to go ahead and just give it a quick name. Now keep in mind, 125 by 125 pixels is one of the most common sizes. Some other common sizes are 250 by 250, uh, 300 by 250, 300 by 300, uh, and then there's uh, 720 by 90. Uh, these are all various sizes for your banners, um, but for today's example, we're just going to do a 125 by 125. So our width and our height are set to 125, and I'm going to go ahead and leave the resolution at 72 pixels per inch. And what we're going to do now is just click OK. And we've got a blank slate. So our very first banner, what we're going to do is we're going to take four separate images and we're going to combine them into one animated GIF file so that you can upload into your affiliate program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click over to my first image and I'm going to just simply select all the content, copy it onto my clipboard and paste it right over to my new image that I created. And I'm going to do the same for the other three. Okay, now that I've got all the images in here, what I want to do is I want to make sure I order them correctly. And the way that Photoshop Elements uh, orders these is actually uh, first layer is actually the first image that will be displayed and second layer and so forth. So what I want to do is make sure that these are in the correct order. So if the order I want to set these up in is layer one is going to be first. Then I'm going to go to layer four, which I'm going to go ahead and just click and drag down right above layer one. So my layer four becomes my layer two. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull layer three down up right above layer four. So in essence, I know that the, uh, the layer names are kind of confusing. So what you could do is you could come in here and actually just modify those. So that way there's, there's no confusion. Okay, so now we've got layer one. Oops. So now we've got layer one, two, three, and four. So now we are pretty much done with our, our image or our layers. And so what we want to do now is we want to save this as a GIF file. So we're going to go up and click File, and we're going to use the Save for Web option. When we get to the Save for Web option, if you notice over here on the right-hand side, you're going to notice there's an option right here for animation. And so we're going to go ahead and select that. And what's going to happen is it's going to take all four of your images and it's going to loop them down here in the bottom. If you notice, you have an option here to loop. Then you also have a delay option. This is, this is how long that particular image is going to display for. So we've got a couple options that we want to go ahead and configure here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just configure this to 0.5. That way it gives the reader enough time to read it and kind of glance at the image. Then what you can do is you can kind of scroll through them just to make sure they're in the correct order. And that looks great. Now another thing you can do is you can actually preview this in a browser uh, by clicking this button down here, Preview in Default Browser. And what that does is it opens up a browser and you'll notice that that just kind of scrolls through there. Now, 0.5 seems a little bit fast, so I'm glad we kind of reviewed this before we actually posted it. So I'm going to go ahead and change the delay to one second. And let's go ahead and preview that. Yeah, I think that's that's a little bit better. And actually, what I'm going to do is take it one step further. Let's go ahead and try 1.5. 
have to type that in there. There's not actually an option for that. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and we're going to click OK. It's going to ask, where do you want to save this? And so I'm just going to go ahead and save it to my desktop. Banner add 125 by 125.gif. And that's all there is to it. That one's pretty simple. Now I wanted to go over a, another really easy process to just maybe add an effect in case you only have one image. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull up an image that I already have here. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this same image and I'm going to just duplicate it. I'm going to duplicate the layer. You can call this image two. And then I'm just going to add a simple effect to it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click up here on filter, adjustments, and invert. Now keep in mind, you can do any type of filter or effect that you want to get the actual effect that you want. Uh, but just for this video, I'm just I'm just picking something that's very simple. So, and basically what this is going to do, it's going to flash between these, these two images. So now that I've got my effect done on my second image, I'm going to go ahead and just hit file, save for web. And we're going to go ahead and click the animation button. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just start off with 0.5 and we'll do a preview just to see what that looks like. Okay, let's see what uh, one second looks like. I think one second is going to probably be the magic number. I kind of like the one second. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, save the uh, one second. And we'll just call this one banner add 125 by 125 animated. And click save. And that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple creating these banners. You can do various sizes. You can animate them or not animate them. And so that does it for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching Fuse Flicks brought to you by IamFuse.com. Thanks for watching.